Navigraph has just released SimBrief Dispatch for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and also coming for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. Yes, we are in the sim right now. We're going to go take a look at it and see how it works. We're loaded up in the Phoenix. Uh, we are in Jamaica, Montego Bay. However, what you're going to notice right off the bat, we have a new tab down here it says SimBrief. That never used to be there before. You used to get the fly icon. So we're going to go ahead and hit the SimBrief button, and it brings up a brand new page, which is basically SimBrief integrated into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, you get to sign in. You get to subscribe. You get to put in your pilot ID. All that stuff is already done for us. What we're going to do quickly, we're going to create a new flight plan. You can create a plan. You can view the latest plan. You can view the user guides. You can get technical support and also look at recent flights that you've maybe filed before. So let's go ahead and go a new flight. <clears throat> and what's going to pop up is a very similar looking page if you're used to using SimBrief before. Uh, on the web browser, it looks exactly like that. Uh, mostly so we're going to go spirit wings uh 2806 because that's going to be our favorite we're departing mkj was it s for sangster yes and uh let's go to k o r d for chicago there we go then you get to put in your airplane we're a 321 not the neo and uh, we already have a bunch of airframes saved. We're going to be using the 321 from the Phoenix IAE. If you notice right off the bat, this is in sim. You already have the route drawn up in here from Jamaica up to Chicago. Very good. Uh, you could put in your weights, your balances, everything you always do with sim brief anyways done. The route is there. You can look at different route options. You can change up those routings or routings. They will show you what to do. But we're going to go with the first one that's always recommended for us. That's what we're going to go with. And once you're done, a couple of new things. You can generate that flight. And um, you also can calculate and compare different things. You can do a briefing preview. You could save the flight. You could share the flight and new flight. But we're going to generate the flight as we always do. Let's go ahead. There it is generating the flight plan in Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, it doesn't take too long, just like it does on the browser itself. <clears throat> Uh, there it is. The flight has been generated. So now I uh, get the same page with the, the uh, OFP included to overview things. If you want to make changes and go back because the altitude was wrong or the weights or the cargo was wrong, so forth and so on. But here is another good thing that you could do. You can uh, view that flight and that will bring up a browser window where you view the, view the flight on the browser window with the PDF. There's it, there it is. You view the PDF on that itself. Uh, you can also pre-file it on VATSIM. Let me go ahead and close that window. You can pre-file this on VATSIM from here. I always go VATSIM or IVO Pilot Edge. You go here and also it's gonna pop up the VATSIM window over there. There it is. So I'm gonna leave that window open. I'm gonna hit the pre-file on VATSIM on the SIM. I'm gonna hit continue there and there it is. Pops up right away. So you have many different things that you could do with it right into this uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. However, what we're going to do, we're going to close that out. Uh, no, one last thing. We're going to import this into the sim. Very important. You can import this into the sim. It says import in flight plan. Please wait. It takes a few minutes. And this is going to be imported into the Phoenix A320, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and wait for the import, the importing to be done on here. There it is. Importing is done. Go ahead and close this window. Now we have the plane. Everything is imported. You could see your flight plan and waypoints at the top here and so forth and so on. But I want to load up the sim and see actually um, what it looks like when you import it into the sim. Shows you the departure runway and all this good stuff. Let's go ahead and fly now. Hit the fly now button. So <clears throat> Phoenix should be loading up here. This is Microsoft 24. So it takes a little bit of while, but we'll see how long it takes. <clears throat> get loaded up at the gate and then go look at what it does in sim uh for us here uh give it a few more seconds there it is we're loaded up we are ready to fly let's go ahead and hit the fly button and we're loaded up on the runway actually i wanted to load up at a gate but not a problem aircraft is doing its thing it's it's starting up as you already know but what we want to look at is how is it imported into the sim from the sim brief integration and let's go take a look at that uh what i'm going to do is um go here Go to Phoenix, and it says tap to import. Hit that right there. There it is, Montego Bay to Chicago. 
perfect. It's imported everything into the sim uh, the way we want it. It's important the weight and balance and the passenger count and the performance and all this good stuff, the zero fuel weight, fuel, so forth and so on. But what about it being integrated into the airplane itself? Let me go battery one, battery two, external power, arm you, uh, nav light. I always have to do that stuff. It's just, I don't know why, but I, I, I have to do it. It's part of the thing here. So Atsu is going to be loading up here because the airplane was cold and dark. But if you come up top, you also have the sim brief dispatch in the taskbar up top here of the sim. Let's open that up in a minute. So sim brief by Navigraph, it's loading up here. We'll take a look and see what you can do while you are in the sim. There we go. So you have a similar page that you saw before where you can sign in, sign out your so forth. You can create a flight plan from here. You could view the latest flight plan from here. You can get technical data, all that stuff. You can edit your flight plan. You can save your flight plan. You have weather and no times, all that good stuff you could do. This is, <clears throat> but let us do this before. Let's go ahead and go into here. Let's go FMGC. Let's go init. And let's request that plan. Remember, it was um, Kingston. I'm sorry, Montego Bay to Chicago. Let's see if it if it shows up. Let's go ahead. There it is, Montego Bay to Chicago. So all we're probably going to have to do is put in our departure and arrival and all that good stuff. It's perfect. So it does import into the airplane which is good it does import into the EFB which is good and then also while you're in sim can you make a change and reroute somewhere else if you needed to let's go ahead and try that real quick and see if you could do a reroute to a different airport let's go ahead and say let's create a new flight plan right similar window as you had before and we're gonna do spirit wings again that was it NKS uh, two Eight zero six. We're departing a MKJS Sangster, and this time we're going to go to um, uh, KFLL Fort Lauderdale. Uh, what airplane we're flying? We're flying the three twenty one two hundred. Uh, we are also flying the what it is the Phoenix A three twenty one CFM engines this time. That's do they have CFM engines on Spirit? I don't know, but here is your flight plan. Here it is the route being drawn. This is all in the, the panel. This is crazy, right? You could zoom this page up and down right there. And then once you're done, let's go ahead and generate that flight. This, this is in the sim now. You don't have to back out of the airplane and go back out to do anything at all. It's in the sim. I want to see if you can change it on the fly. Let's go ahead and import that into the airplane. So it's an important flight plan. Flight plan progress import is finished. Let me go ahead and close that sim brief window. We're going to come here. We're going to go back home, and we're going to go to Phoenix, and we're going to go um, to the main page, which is you, and we're going to re-import. So this is Chicago. We just refiled to Fort Lauderdale. Let's go ahead and hit that button right there. There it is. <laughs> Montego Bay to Fort Lauderdale is in. Wow. I love this. Great job. Great, great job, Navigraph. With passenger counts, fuel load, everything is there. I am not sure <laughs> if we can change it here. I, I, I don't think we can. I don't think we would be able to do that at all. Uh, let me let me just try something here. Uh, K, I'm sorry. M K J S two K F L L. I don't know if you can change this. I've never done this before. This is an Airbus. This is a little bit different thing. You probably can't do it on here. But as you could see on the fly, and there's probably a way to do it if you do like go like flight plan two or delete or I, I have no idea. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the fact that the sim brief integration into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and soon to come 2024 is up and in full effect. It's the sim brief dispatch page uh, by Navigraph. It does work. It's very smooth and it's going to be a great tool to use for you guys who just want to load up the sim and go and don't have to uh, open up a browser window to do all the different things here. And uh, this is perfect from Navigraph. Uh, shout out Navigraph for dropping this thing to us here. Go check it out. It's going to be on their website, Navigraph.com, and just go ahead and download it if you are a Navigraph subscriber. Um, <clears throat> for this, you will have the subscription charts and so forth. But anyway, great to have you guys on board. I'll see you again on another video. Take care. XB is out.